This video is about testing if my 3D printed tank can do some water skip. My definition of a water skip is when a vehicle that don't usually float on its own is able to cross a body of water without touching the bottom. But before trying some deep water, I start by rolling in some little puddles. This will allow me to see how the robot reacts when it hits some water at high speed and I will also be able to see if the robot is waterproof. The last test on that day was to see if the robot will still work after being fully immersed in water. Since it was still working after being fully immersed, I keep bashing it to see if something was going to break. <laughs> Those were some old wheels, I now print them with a 100% infill to make them stronger. The first test showed that with a little bit of driving skill, this robot could probably do some good water skip. The hardest part is to have a good control on the throttle to keep the nose of the robot down and avoid doing a backflip. The white welly bar at the back of the robot helped me keep the nose down while I was training to have a better control on the throttle. The training was going great until this happened. After a short troubleshooting session, I saw that the tip of the gear tooth were melt. In order to solve this problem, I first redesigned the drive pod in order to have a better fit between the gears. I also changed the material of the gear in order to have a higher melting point. Instead of PLA, I now use ESA. With the new drivetrain in place, we keep training our driving skill, but without the weighted bar this time. After those tests, we were now confident that our driving skill were good enough to do a good water skip. I spent a couple hours on Google map trying to find the perfect spot. I ended up finding a little river surrounded by sand that was looking good from the air. <laughs> In order to film and recover the robot after the run, I had to cross this deep and cold water. But on the first run of the day, this happened. This was the waterscape run we have been working to achieve over the last 6 months.
I was very happy with the waterscape I was able to achieve. But in order to increase the distance, I want to try a robot with a longer wheelbase. In order to achieve that, I modify the center of the robot and add another set of wheels. In order to test the new setup, I bring the robot with me to the lake for the weekend. Sadly, there were some waves on the lake that day. As you can see in the slow motion, that made the robot jump and lose contact with the water. Even more sad, the six-wheeled version was not as waterproof as the last version. Resulting of that, the electronics inside the robot were now wet and the fun was over for the weekend. But, at least, once the electronics have dried, I end up with a more stable robot that is fun to drive. A lot of you guys seem interested in building this robot. So, in the next couple of months, I will work on a project that is easier to follow. This project will include all the options like the winter track, the summer track and the six wheel version. I will also make a video in order to make the assembly easier. So see you soon!